When you're creating invoices for your clients, the last thing you want to do is retype the details of your service every single time. So in this video, we're going to add your packages as templates that you can edit in Dubsado so you can spend less time making invoices and more time making money. Now, you might be saying to yourself, I do completely custom work, Cameron, so I don't need packages. But you can think about the term package as a service or product, which you do have. So log into your Dubsado account, follow along with me, and let's put them in. First, we'll go to Templates, Packages. This area is where all of your services or products live. There's a few sample packages that come with your account, but for this video, we're going to build one together. Feel free to remove the sample packages later if you want. In the top right, click Add Package, then click in the header to name the package. Your clients can't see this name on invoices, so you can title it whatever you like to keep things organized on your end. For mine, I'm putting 10 coaching sessions as the title. Next, we'll click New Line Item. You'll notice that this looks exactly like creating an invoice from scratch in the last video, except now we're making this a template so we only have to do this once. Now, clients will see what you name this item, so just be mindful of that when you're adding this in. I'll keep it simple here and put 10 coaching sessions as well. For the description, I'm going to add in the details. Now for me, that's 10 one-hour coaching sessions, one business planning call, and a weekly progress report. For the quantity, I'll put 10. For the price, I'll put $100, and you'll see the total calculated on the right. If you have a single service like logo design or a photography session, you'll put the quantity to one. You can also add tax and income categories for accounting purposes, but for right now, we'll click Add Item at the bottom. Now we have our line item for this package. If this package had more items to add, click New Line Item and do that process over again. But this one is good to go, so we'll click Return to Packages at the bottom and we're done. Now you can see how much time you'll save making invoices. Now, for all of my custom work business owners, let me show you how you can take advantage of packages as well. For a custom package, we're going to create what I call a base template. With a base template, you're laying down the bones of your package, but setting the specific details and quantities later based on what your client needs. For example's sake, let's say I run a web design company and the package depends on how many pages the client needs. I put the details in just like a normal package, but I leave my quantity at one and set the price to be the price per page. Now, when I apply this package to a client, I can just edit the quantity to match the client's page count as well as customize any other details and you'll see the total invoice number change. The beauty of this is I don't have to retype all of these extra details every time I need to invoice a client. With this as the starting point, I can just make tweaks as needed. Now, if you remember from the last video, I showed you how to create line items from scratch and payment plans from scratch as well. In the next video, we're going to create a payment plan to make sure you're never chasing clients for payments again. I'll see you in the next video.